YouTube, what is going on guys? Well, Mercy Eternal here and today I'm going to do a little bit different video than what I normally do for you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys today about something that I've seen that kills a lot of content creators momentum, a lot of Destiny 2 players momentum, and something that I still struggle with from time to time, quite regularly sometimes, even, even when I'm doing YouTube videos like this for you guys, I still struggle with this. It's what's called imposter syndrome and I'm going to share with you guys three tips on how I overcome it and how I basically backhand myself back into reality whenever like something's not going right and I'm hoping this helps you guys as well especially when you guys start dealing with this and if this happens to you I'm really hoping this helps you guys get over that and overcome that because it can be it it's like a freight train hitting a wall is how much of a buzzkill it can be all right so anyway let's get into it basically imposter syndrome is you feel like a fraud you doubt yourself all your accomplishments your achievements actually i text messages i'm so sorry i thought i had my notifications off but anyway you imposter syndrome is you doubt your own abilities your accomplishments and not deserving of your act of any accolades you got or like say if you get a seventh column in crucible you know good on you for that because that's awesome but you know you you feel like you don't deserve it or you know you get a job promotion you feel like you don't deserve it or you get a flawless raid clear and you don't deserve it all right basically to sum it up imposter syndrome is pardon my language because i am going to cuss in this who the fuck am i to do this who the fuck am i to go flawless in trials who the fuck am i to have 100 plus clears in garden of salvation all right who the fuck am i like in this clip here to be wielding point of the stag or to be wielding heir apparent as you see me popping off in this gameplay here i'm just on an absolute rampage with it that's imposter syndrome and it can be it can stop a freight train is how bad it is this is something i deal with to this day recording videos all right I'll get recorded and it's like, who am I to have a YouTube channel that's going to have, eventually going to have a million subs or more? Who knows? But I mean, it's, that's basically what imposter syndrome is. It sucks. You get inside, you get inside your own head and you're just like, oh, I don't deserve this, you know, all this other stuff. I don't deserve to have, you know, flawlesses and trials. I don't deserve to have the glowing trials armor or anything like that and it's just you start getting inside your head like that then you start getting your own thoughts and then you start getting depressed and just stop everything comes desktop like that like that raider there all right and it just it can be an absolute just like i said an absolute buzzkill on anything you do it is one of the worst things that's ever happened like I've been in raids where things weren't going right, guys. I'm gonna share my personal experience with you. I've been in raids and this is hit. Alright. And it's gotten to the point of like I just wanted to just give up. Put all my stuff that I'd ever need for raiding up in the vault and never touch it again. That's the worst case of cross syndrome ever. And when you're really passionate about something like I am with raiding, like Destiny 2, and you just want to give up because you don't feel like you are good enough or like you deserve it now there is a kind of a, i guess you can call it a reverse version of this called the dunning kruger effect is where you think you are the absolute best at everything you do all right now i understand confidence but then there's what's called overconfidence where you overestimate your abilities where you overestimate everything you do all right we've all ran to people like that i have too i've done it a couple times but at the same time you know it's two sides of the same coin in a sense and it can be kind of bad on both ends the imposter syndrome being the worst and no before anyone asks, I'm not talking about Among Us. Okay? I'm not. I'm gonna clear that up right now. Now, 
there is a couple ways that I have found that really does help kind of, me, kind of snap me back into reality. Like, I'll start, you know, feeling like that, and I will go to my raid report, right? Which leads into tip number one. Always have, like, a kind of a, a reminder of your accomplishments. Of, like, I'll look at my raid report, look at my raid banner that I'm wearing, because I have the Garden of Salvation banner on. Those of you guys who know me and have ran with me, I always have the GOS banner on for a reason. Because that's a reminder of, hey, there was a point in time where I almost did complete this raid. And I'm sitting here now at 123 clears. That's something for me to be proud of. Okay. Or like some of you trials guys, you guys have your flawlesses tracked. There you go. That could be yours. I mean, or you speedrunner guys. Guys who speedrun raids. Like you start feeling like that, go back through. Look at some of your times you've posted. Boom. There you go. And some of you speedrunner guys, on the side note, some of you speedrunner guys are nutty. I've seen some of the crazy stuff you guys do, and oh my god, that is crazy how you guys figure that stuff out. I tip my hat to y'all that one. Now, another one is like, I start feeling like that. I look back on where I come from to this very moment. Alright? And there's just like, literally. A fire gets like literally a fire gets so it needs me. It's like, all right, we're getting this done. I know I can do this. We're getting it done one way or another. And another, like, third one I'll use, which, which this one will definitely lead into a little bit more of a discussion as well, is I look back at <clears throat> where I'm at. I'm like, okay, so I'm at, let's say, like, I'll use my Garden of Salvation clues. I'm at 123 clears right now. I don't see that as like, hell yeah, I, I made it there. I see that now as a benchmark to me. Like, yes, I got a 30 minute speed running garden. Am I proud of that? Yes. Do I want to get faster? Oh, yes. Like, I've got a couple speed runs with some raids. I've been with some speed run groups, and I got some pretty good times, but I want to beat that. Which that leads into another thing. Always, you know. Definitely change your perspective if you start feeling like that. You start feeling like you're coming, like you got a case of imposter syndrome. Change your perspective as well. It's something I found that helps too. All right. These tips here, guys. I'm just trying to do what I can to help people out. Cause honestly, this whole channel come out of killing burnout and just kind of saying, you know, fuck it. What ha what's gonna happen? Started editing videos. I don't think I didn't think I'd ever be good enough to do this. Honestly, I looked at people like Cactus, you know, like that, you know, some of the other Destiny content creators, and I didn't think I'd ever be good enough to do video edit or some of the other YouTubers themselves and be able to do edit my own videos or do the video editing itself. Until it was literally just like, you know what? Shift my perspective. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Which leads to tip number four. Just do it. Because once you've done something enough and you're really confident in it and imposter syndrome hits, you'll just go into it without even thinking about it. And just do it. Right there, I didn't think I'd be able to hold out that one point, And then I let the heir apparent start doing the talking for me. And as you see the results there, they didn't get very far. Now, like going back to the whole Iron Banner thing on my end, I didn't think, oh, I'd ever go through an Iron Banner tournament. Six later, yeah, six later, okay, I'm in the process of going through the, the seasons one right now, but I just kind of took a little break, just, I started getting really frustrated with stuff, so kind of took a little bit of a break. But anyway, guys, that's besides the point, though. Take a bit of a drink here. So, I guess recording these videos is kind of a lot of work. Just saying. <laughs> so I had to grab a little, had to grab a little bit of water. Um, but like I was saying, with imposter syndrome, don't let those thoughts get inside your head. 
wants to get inside your head of, you know, oh, who am I to be doing this? Change it to why shouldn't I be doing this? More like, not why shouldn't I be doing this, more like why aren't I doing this? You know, like, why aren't I going after that promotion? Instead of, oh, I don't deserve that promotion. Or here, like when I got promoted in my work. I'll never get promoted. And then it's more like, I'm going to take it whether you like it or not. Right? That's perspective switching. And I'll give you a Destiny one that I, that I had to use. I was in a really bad Garden of Salvation run and I thought we'd never complete it. I finally just snapped myself back into reality and was like, you know what? Who am I to say that we're not going to complete it? We're going to complete it. We're going to get this person their first run and we're going to do it. It does involve a little bit of talking to yourself every now and then. If you have to like mute yourself, talk to yourself, do it. Okay? But definitely, those three tips there and that little bonus one I gave you of perspective switching, definitely use those guys because I see a lot of people with really great potential, like a couple of friends of mine. They have said this to me. Who am I to start a YouTube channel because it won't be successful? Do you know how annoyed that made me when they said that? How hurt that made me? Because, like, a friend of mine, Ender Venom, absolute sweet girl. And she loves a lot of story-based games. But she's like, oh, no one's ever going to watch my stuff or anything like that. Just severe imposter syndrome, just red flags everywhere. And it's like, I, it's like I told her, you want to know how I got over it? How I got over the imposter syndrome of that? Just did it. And then just went on with it. And look where I'm at now. Yes, I'm only at 62 cents, but that's a start. That's basically the start of my journey. But back to the topic at hand. I've seen people with imposter syndrome. The right they have absolutely incredible momentum. Like guardian. trials players, a couple of trials players I know. Ghosts. One of them, but the moment I found they they had like 12 flawlesses, and they're like, oh, sure I'm, I'll never get you more. Who am I to do this? Nope. And it's like, dude. You have been flawless 12 times. Coming from someone who's not a PvP player, you going flawless should be like you breathing. And it's like, dude, you have went through the single hardest PvP mode without losing. And you don't think you're a badass for doing that? And I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, it's like, as I'm saying this, like, what is this guy doing? He's a freaking monster. All right, but guys, I really, really hope this helps you guys out. Because if you guys really like this kind of content, let me know. Because I will do more. All right. But always, though, guys, if you start feeling like that, Rewind this video, listen to this shit again, because I'm hoping I can be the kick in the ass some y'all need to get out of that imposter syndrome. Because this whole season should have been called Season of the Imposter, just saying, because that's just personal joke right there. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you start feeling like that, go back through, listen to this video again, because I'm hoping I can kick that imposter syndrome out your head, because I know all y'all have some really awesome potential. I really do. Hell, I'm still learning my potential and seeing what I'm fully capable of doing. As a Destiny 2 player and as a person. Alright. So, if you guys enjoyed this and got any sort of value out of this at all, definitely drop me a like, subscribe, like, comment, share this video. If you have somebody who is going through this right now, send this to them. Because if you do, tell them to get to it right about now and listen to this carefully. I'm talking to you. Listen. Don't listen to those little voices. You got this. You deserve this shit. You got this. 
anyway guys I have a Facebook page as well for the channel War at it, the handle is at one of the horsemen I'll put the handle up on screen right now for you guys well actually it'll be it towards the end of the video which will be right about now ish but as always, guys, y'all take care. Stay safe out there. God bless y'all. And y'all have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. By the way, there's a handle for you guys.